Hey, what's going on? My name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to record a screen. And we're going to show this to you in a few different formats. So what you're seeing on the screen right now, you see these backgrounds, you know, these nice mountains in the middle of the fall, maybe Wyoming or something like that. And then I can pull a screen over like this, and now you can see my YouTube feed. You see, I watch a lot of John Oliver. All right. Well, the uh, this is recording a screen on a desktop. I'm going to show you how to re record a screen on your phone and also give you tips on how to record on Mac versus PC. So first off, why don't we start with recording a desktop screen? So what you're seeing right now is it, you can't see it actually what I'm looking at, but I have two monitors in my computer over here. I get to select which screen that I'm using. and I'm using it through a service called ScreenFlow. I'll actually click the little drop down button here and you can kind of see that. You can see stop record, show recording monitor. When we show recording monitor, hopefully this will show up on screen. I'm not sure if that will uh, for the actual recording, um, but I can see all that as well. And you can see that I'm recording it through the webcam, which is on the top of my monitor, but actually taking the audio through a separate microphone right here. So this service that I'm using is for Mac. It's called ScreenFlow. I will put the links in the description and pinned comment of this video. Uh, let me pull up uh, their website for you. Uh, to show you how that works, all right, and give you an idea on pricing. I suppose you don't need this on screen anymore. So, ScreenFlow right here, and it's a video editing and screen recording software made by Telestream. Uh, the pricing starts at $129. You can also download a free trial, but I believe if you get the free trial, what it does is it lets you mess around with it, but there'll be a watermark over top of your video when you're recording your screen top. So this is a really easy service. Uh, what I'll do as I'm talking right now, I'll kind of take some screen capture of me actually editing, editing the video you're watching right now, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of how it looks if you're editing it. But very simple, just kind of drag, drop, and you can add transitions in. Uh, one of the neat things I can do is if I want to like highlight something, like I can put an arrow on solutions here, or you can zoom in if I wanted you to zoom into the search feature right here. All very easy transitions and effects that you can put in with ScreenFlow. And again, that's for Mac. Um, let's see though, I think they do have, um, yeah, everything that they have I believe is for Mac. If you wanted something similar to this, what I would recommend is Camtasia. I do not personally have as much um, you know, experience with this. I've always been a Mac guy, but I have a couple friends who use this and they love it. Same thing. You have free trial and you can watch, you know, a video on it. 30 day satisfaction guarantee. A third option I'm going to give you right now, and this is an awesome tool. So this is called awesome screenshot screen video recorder. So right now I am inside of um, Google Chrome. And if you're not familiar, there are these add-ons that you can put into your toolbar here. So these are little quick uh, things that you can add on. Um, it's like an extension. So what you can do is you can search for this one. Uh, and again, it was called Awesome Screenshot, I believe. So I will put a link to this uh, in the description. And the nice thing is, is this is actually free, uh, what I use it for. Uh, you can just put an Awesome Screenshot Chrome and right here. So you can see that this allows you to take screen captures of what you're looking at, annotate them, but it also allows you to take video if you'd like. So if I wanna record the screen, I can start recording free for 30 seconds. So if you only need to do 30 seconds or less, I can do a recording. We'll see how this works because now I'm gonna be doing two recordings at the same time. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of scroll around here and you can see that it's showing that it's recording up there, a couple scrolls. Why don't we click right, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click stop. Put this over here so you can hear it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click. All right, so you can see that if you only need 30 seconds or less, that's a nice plugin that's not gonna cost you anything. And then you can just upload it directly to Google or YouTube, Google Drive. I find if you're just, you know, need to get information across to somebody, it's kind of nice just to throw it into Google Drive and then you can just share them the link. You don't have to mess around with YouTube. That's just my personal preference. Um, and then you can always upgrade. I'm not even sure what it costs to upgrade. Um, let me check real quick on this. All right, here you are. They charge per year, 1999. Uh, and one project included, 30 images included, okay. So yeah, once you get going, it's unlimited projects, images, screen recordings, and advanced annotations. So one of the other things I do like about this service is um, why don't we go back to this uh, Telestream screen flow here. Let's say you wanted to mark this up. This is what I actually use this service for all the time. 
is you can capture, a lot of times I'll do visible part of the page. So it makes a new thing like this. And then I can go like this. And if I'm trying to tell people, you know, uh, usually this is what I use it for is ed education. If I'm working with somebody, I can say, you know, please, uh, please change font on this button. And it's very easy to use, click done, and then you would just click local save is usually what I do. Um, and then I have that image just like that. So that is a really nice feature too. So the last thing I wanna show you, and this is how to record your iPhone screen. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this in the video here, but I'm gonna go through it on my screen as well. And this is really easy to set up. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna record what I'm doing just so I can put it up on screen and show you as I'm going. Eh, eh, being smart now, how to record a screen, right? So uh, you're gonna see me pull down right now and click on settings. And then we are going to scroll down to control center. Click on control center. You should see it kind of pop. And then customize controls. So you can see right now that there is screen recording uh, set up. And I'm gonna try to drag that so you, I can highlight that for you. I'm gonna make it the first thing. And what that is, is if you're not familiar with your iPhone, what the control center is, that's when you swipe up from the bottom, that's the control center right there. So if I click that red uh, blinking button, which is recording right now, it'll stop. So I'm gonna click that right now, and you'll see that we have just stopped. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna pull it up again because I wanna show you one more feature of this, and this is just free with your iPhone. Um, that's where I'm pulling that uh, recording from, is if you, uh, are recording something. Uh, when I just did that, it did not record with audio. So now you can see on the screen again that I've pulled up that it is recording. Uh, but if you hold it down, you can see that there's an option now for microphone off. I'm gonna click that and it's gonna say microphone on now. So now um, you're getting the audio and I'll switch over to the audio from this actual recording. It should sound a lot worse because my microphone isn't as good um, as this mic in front of me. So uh, now we're getting the audio from my voice on my cell phone. But that's just a really cool free feature on your phone. So how to record a screen, if we were to walk through it all again, screen flow, Camtasia if you're on a PC, if you're on your phone, it's just a free feature that you just have to know how to unlock. And then if you wanna just use a browser-based uh, plugin, I would recommend Awesome Screenshot. And I'll link to all these below. Some of them might be affiliate links. I think some of them are just gonna be direct links. But I appreciate your support. Uh, I love making these videos for people, and it's always nice uh, getting a little kickback on some of the affiliate links if you choose to use my link. I really appreciate it. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. I uh, always like seeing the comments, especially the ones that are just mean because they always make me laugh. Who cares, right? It's online. It's YouTube. Everybody's mean. <laughs> All right. Now I'm just, you know, dragging on. But, uh, yeah, again, thanks for the support, and uh, thumbs up the video if you found it helpful. All right. Take care.